Now at six, that breaking news. One person is dead, five others injured in a shooting at a church in Laguna Woods. Well, good Sunday evening. I'm Leslie Marine. And good evening, everyone. I'm Ross Palumbo. All of it coming to an end with the churchgoers themselves jumping in, stopping that gunman and hog tying him to keep him still. It happened just before 1.30 this afternoon inside the Geneva Presbyterian Church. That church is located at the corner of El Toro Road in Calle Sonora in Laguna Woods. CBS 2's Lori Perez is live from the scene tonight with the breaking details. It was just moments ago, Lori, that we heard from the under sheriff on this investigation. Yes, and it was a very somber and serious press conference. This is a very emotional and still tense scene. We are just across the street from, as you mentioned, the Presbyterian Church and uh, about a half block from here. I know we have Sky 2 uh, that might be able to show us where investigators have set up a command post. Orange County Sheriff, OC Fire Authority, along with the FBI and the ATF are working together on this. All eyes focused on the church here and the hall connected to it, where we're told a luncheon was taken place uh, this afternoon when the gunman entered and opened fire just before 1.30 this afternoon. Again, six victims. One was dead here on the scene. Four others are in critical condition and one has minor injuries. Law enforcement with city leaders again held that very serious press conference about an hour ago detailing as much as they can so far about what happened inside. The victims are believed to all be part of the Irvine Taiwanese Presbyterian Church, which holds services here every Sunday. Sunday. The luncheon was held after the service. We're told about 40 people were inside when the shooting started. Deputies recovered two handguns. It's unclear whether both were fired. Police have in custody an Asian man in his 60s. They do not believe he's from this area. So they're trying to see what, if any, connection he has to the church. But meanwhile, a story of heroism is emerging. Investigators say congregants stepped up bravely and tackled the man as he launched his attack, very possibly saving lives. We believe a group of churchgoers detained him and hogtied his legs with an extension cord and confiscated at least two weapons from him. He was detained when the deputies arrived. That group of churchgoers displayed what we believe is exceptional heroism, heroism and bravery in intervening, or intervening to stop the suspect. They undoubtedly prevented additional injuries and fatalities. Now, the Presbytery of Los Ranchos did issue a statement saying they are deeply saddened by a fatal shooting that occurred at a lunch reception honoring a former pastor of the Taiwanese congregation that nests at Geneva Presbyterian Church in Laguna Woods. Please keep the leadership of the Taiwanese congregation and Geneva in your prayers as they care for those traumatized by this shooting. In your mercy, O oh Lord, we pray. That was the statement coming from the Presbytery this afternoon. Now, meanwhile, investigators uh, have swept the church for bombs, as is standard protocol, they say. They are bringing in linguists to assist with talking to 30 to 40 witnesses who were inside the church when it happened. That's because, again, so many of them um, are of Taiwanese descent. They want to make sure that they communicate clearly and effectively with everyone involved. And, and many of them are also elderly. We did speak um, with a woman earlier today. She arrived here very anxious and worried because both her mom and dad, elderly, were inside the church. They come here, she says, every Sunday for services, for those Taiwanese services. Her dad, 92 years old, she heard, was shot, she believed, in the leg. So she was praying and hoping that he would be okay. Her mom, meanwhile, 87 years old, was still being held inside the church, um, talking to investigators. She needed to get her medicine. She was very upset and extremely anxious to make a connection with them, as you can imagine. A lot more work to do here. ATF mentioned they are tracing the guns two handguns were recovered again. They want to trace those guns to make sure whether or not they were obtained illegally and where they were obtained. Investigators are also looking for security video. And meanwhile, uh, the county supervisor and city leaders are here. And they uh, want to make sure uh, that the community is taken care of. They are offering counseling services for anyone who is in this church or anyone, uh, frankly, who might be uh, very affected by what happened here in this uh, community of Laguna Woods. So, again, a very emotional scene. Lots of people on the corners here, uh, just residents, locals coming by, um, trying to see if they can figure out more of what happened and coming together, frankly, uh, in fellowship and community as, as they deal with what happened here today. All we right. are live in Laguna Woods. Good nope. back to you. All right, Lori, thank you. Let us know if we need to get right back to you.